can do side pressure from an up, upward angle or from a low angle. I train both of them so that way no matter where I get in the match, I'm able to use side pressure from that area or back pressure. See from here, I can even throw some side and back. I'm using my bicep to move it, but then I can throw a little side in. It's not just a up and down, left and right type of thing. You can go down, down. See how my wrist goes down? You can also go down this way from the wrist. I can do both. I can go up with my wrist, rise. See how my, like that. So if I start here, I can rise through and I can rise with my bicep. When you use your back, you don't want your hand to lower. You want your hand to stay high. I'm just developing the muscles for arm wrestling so that when I get into a weird position, say I get here, I'm able to pull through because I've done it so many fucking times on the table stack. From a high angle. And to hold on to this thing, this is the sound. I should try to fucking fly at that wall. At Starting at the front of the pad, move to the back of the pad. Train someone the opposite. You're always doing this, obviously, some form or another. Excuse me, excuse me. Don't need me.
pass through. Throw some bicep into so this this would be with just my wrist. Some bicep to keep that high. See, if I try pulling like this with just my bicep. wrist is not activated which makes me probably like 75% weaker Even with the bands the farther you move back the more tension on your whatever your muscle you're working so see how it's engaged the whole time this is me losing my riser. Separation. 